our job as actors, as artists, the anthropologists of existence, our job as the conveyors of empathy, we can never not lean into anything. We have to lean into everything. It means sometimes you have to lean back out, which is why I try to drive so much comedy through my classes. We laugh and we laugh and we laugh. And I just had this weekend and this one actress who's new to me was like, I love the way that you, every time things get kind of heavy, seconds later, we all laugh about it. And I was like, yes, we have to titrate. But the laughing is a leaning in. Going for a walk is still a leaning in. You're still motivated. That was my speech last week. You're still moving forward. You're still in motion. You just need to take a second to step to the side of the road to go, oh, and then keep going on the road. But you're not walking the other way. were bombed by Russian troops. Almost all bombs felt uh, on the city civilian buildings. I mean, uh, houses of the people. So it's not about fight with uh, military uh, troops, but more with civilian. Вы вылетало все окна, Николаев, ребята, и двери, и двери, и окна вылетели. Это мой подъезд, окна у меня повылетали. Так это все выглядит, чтобы вы понимали. Что вчера было, детьми кажется. Погано было. Детей двухсотых вывозили, мирное население, маленькие. It's, you've got a foreign war correspondent to the New York Times and she's freaking out. You hear her? Like, it's just too much to handle. Like, it's just what kind of world we live in that we're allowing suffering for no reason. Like, for no reason. For narratives, because that border is my border and your border and for money, which is all made up. So our job is to um, lean in, stare, deal. A lot of people just kind of, they're on the sidelines. You're like one foot profoundly planted, but the other foot is way off stage, looking back in, trying to figure it out and analyze it. Because then you gotta play those characters and you gotta, you gotta bring reality to it. In the end, the difference, somebody asked me what's the difference between acting uh, in 2022 and acting in 1922. And I was the, the biggest difference, the evolution in acting, is that with the uh, emergence of media, internet uh, media and social media, documentary, multi, you know, channel universe, um, reality is hitting us in the face all the time. You can't avoid reality anymore. And so um, as soon as an actor is being artificial, the audience knows because the audience is incredibly well-educated. So in my mind, 
you play whatever scene you're playing, if you're playing a scene where you're falling in love and you don't really fall in love because you're just sort of acting the scene, then I'm like, um, yeah, go fuck yourself. Go do something else for a living. Because what we do is we really love it. And if you're living a scene where you're betrayed and you're like, geez, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't have that. I can't find that. Then I'm like, find it. Because people are betrayed every day by their countries, by their governments, by their families, by their spouses, by their children. Um, if you're playing a character that has to make a really difficult decision in life, know that right now in your city, there are people who are trying to decide whether or not they should pull the plug on their parents. Like, we have to, like, be it, you know? And joy, confusion, and excitement, and love, parenting, all of it. Cancer, your connection to some kind of God and your death. Like, it's all absolute. We have to study all of it. So to quote Anderson Cooper, you have to bear witness and take a good hard look at the things that are really hard to look at. You have to feel what it is and you have to walk in their shoes because that's the definition of empathy. We bear witness to the dignity of life and the indignities imposed upon life. Our job is that we don't have the option to look away. 